join me was uh, not come on. Stay down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to she shared with us. Then putting her family and friends next, loving them with her whole heart. Even strangers who she barely knew became her friends because she was so kind. And only then after that did she take care of herself. Hey Joan, um, one of the stories I have is this. One time I asked Joan, how's married life 
and she had only been married two or three months. <laughs> and she looked at me with a very mischievous smile and a twinkle in her eye, and she said, it's great. <laughs> she was so in love with Ron and will always be. So one word to describe Joan is victorious. The scripture I have is 1 John 5, 4. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory, that one has overcome the world even with our faith. We love you. The word I have for Joan is confidence. And I think ever since I know uh, Joan from Sunnydale Bible Study as we were raising the kids, she operated with much confidence. And her confidence doesn't come from um, just herself and her doing it, but her confidence was in the Lord's work in her life. And so the um, scripture I picked was also from Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. Being confident of this, he that began a good work in you will carry it to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. So thank you, Joan, for just the way that you inspire us to have confidence, not necessarily in ourselves, but in the work of Jesus Christ in our life. Thank you. My word for Joan is giving. You are always gracious and giving to each of your friends as well as to your family and relatives. But I think the best memory we have of you is when you came over for dinner to have with Kelly, Karina, and me. And all we had was Chinese chicken salad because that's all the girls could really cook. But the greatest thing is when you shared about your involvement with Double ACF and know about Epic and different things about Israel. And the girls were so surprised that you knew so many things about the world and about also university Christian fellowships and things of like that. That they were like didn't know that we actually are had lives and that we had done things before. <laughs> and I also told Kelly, don't you remember though, Mrs. Fong has an MBA, so I'm just saying, you guys gotta catch up. <laughs> so very much giving of your time to my family. Thank you so much. And my word for Joan is devoted. I mean she is devoted to you know her God, which is our God and Savior her husband Ron, her three boys, um, her family, and even you know, all the way down to all of her friends. And you know, I just really thank and praise you know, Joan for all the things that she has taught me you know, in living this life. You know, and although we do have, you know, with the retreats we've shared our, our moments, we have some tough times, but yet you know, God is always there for us, and as long as we keep our focus on Him, you know, we can persevere. So thank you, Joan, for the inspiration that you are. The word I have for you is transparency. I appreciate every conversation that we've had together, and I appreciate your honesty and your openness about your praises and your struggles too, and you're always openly glorifying God. So thank you so much. The word that I would describe Joan is giving. I value Joan for, general, for generously giving me her love and concern, coupled with her time and resources. Hi, Miriam. Um, I quit Joan with generous, so I just wrote a short thing. Um, and there's so many more things, but Joan has a generous smile, she has a generous heart, she has a generous spirit. And I'm really thankful to have been blessed by her generosity and her friendship. So, we love you, Joan. Hi, I'm Sandy. I was told I was supposed to say my name first. So, um, um, always being the rebel, I have two words for Joan. Generously loyal. Um, I just want to thank you for always being ready with a smile. Thank you for your love for our Lord, your husband and family. What a wonderful example you are. Thank you for helping me negotiate the rigors of business and um, the many conversations we've had late into the night as I try to figure out that uh, foreign culture. Um, thank you for always including us in the benchmark celebrations with the boys. I always felt like we were a part of your family. And thank you for being our friend. 
You are and shall ever be our friend. A quote from Star Trek. <laughs> Hi, Joan. My name is Lydia, and my word for Joan is actually the same as Charlene's. It's confidence. Because what I see in Joan is she's always been confident of who God created her to be and her, her mission and the vision that she that God's given her and where um, what she should be doing um, for his kingdom. And also confidence in just knowing that uh, confidence in God's perfect plan just no matter what circumstances she's going through. And um, she moves forward and I think... She's confident and she's obedient to the Lord. Thanks, Jim. You know, um, these ladies just can't uh, do their assignments correctly. <laughs> the assignment I gave them was to give Joan one word and one second sentence to, to say why. Well, a few of them. There's a few that are that are very good students. <laughs> but, but, Oh yeah, oh yeah, my name, my name's Mae, you know. Um, but, um, but of course we all know and love Joe so much that we just can't do it alone one sentence. Amen. Amen. Uh, but the one, the one word that I have for you, Joan, is authenticity. Because you are so humble and you have no errors about you, you're approachable and relatable and you share deeply, with, as Barbara said, your true struggles along with your greatest joy. And that is what I appreciate the treasure the most about you. And the fact that you know who you are, um, and you know that you're a child of the King, and you know that you are oh, that you can always trust Jesus in all circumstances. And I, I just love you for that, Jen, and being an example. So, thank you. Thank you so much that our sister, our mother, our friend, our auntie, our daughter, our daughter-in-law, and our wife, Joan, knows you and loves you, lives the victorious life because of you. In Jesus' name, amen.